In today's video I'm going to show you how to loop particle systems in Blender and then after that I'm going to show you how to loop a Musgrave or noise texture in Blender. And these files will be available on my Patreon so you can go over there and support me. So here I am in the default Blender scene, I'm just going to delete the default cube and add in a plane. Then I'm going to make the timeline a little bit bigger for you and I'm going to add in a particle system. Uh, we're just going to be using a emitter particle system because hairs you cannot really uh, loop like this. So this will be for emitters. And then I'm also just going to uh, turn off the field weights for gravity, just so we can uh, look at this a little bit better. Otherwise the particles will fall down. So, all right. If we just preview this and let it loop to the end, you can see that it doesn't loop perfectly. And we are going to change that. So first I just want to make my timeline a little bit smaller just to fit how long I want it to loop for. For me that's five seconds so 120 frames and then i want to go into the particle system settings and then just uh, change whatever you normally want to change so the scale the rotation whatever you want i'm not going to do that in this video but just set it up first before you go into the looping part then what you want to do is make sure that your frame start and end is just your timeline so 1 to 120 that is fine and for this video, I'm just going to decrease the number a little bit. So it's a little bit easier to look at. And I want to set my lifetime to whatever I want. For me, I'm going to set it to 60. So half of my timeline. All right. So now we have set up our entire particle system. And to make this loop, we are just going to hit this plus icon. Then this drop down. And then select the particle system. And then select the particle settings. The first one that we used. So these are the same. Then I just want to hit on this two to make it a duplicate. So we uh, copy all of the settings, but it is a different particle system and we can change this uh, however we want. All right, so now they are playing at the same time. And theoretically there should be two uh, emitters in this spot and everywhere else. But you just can't see that because they're perfectly on top of each other. All right, so now to loop this, we are going to go to particle system one and then adjust the frame start and end. So for this frame start, I'm going to subtract the lifetime. So that would be uh, minus 60, just to keep it simple. And then the end will set to 60 as well, just so we keep that lifetime of 120 frames. That should look like this. And this doesn't look perfectly yet, but we just have to go to particle system two and do the same thing, but in reverse. So frame start, we will set to 60. And then the frame end will set to 180. And this should loop perfectly. As you can see, it does loop perfectly. And that's how you loop a particle system. If you want to render this, I suggest you go over to cache and then bake. Uh, but make sure to bake all dynamics instead of just bake. That will only bake this one particle system. And let's get over to the Musgrave texture. So for that, I'm opening a new file and saving it. And again, this will be available on my Patreon. I keep saying Musgrave texture, but it's a noise texture now in Blender 4. Anyways, just add in a plane, go into rendered mode, set this to EV for better playback. And I'm going to open up a shader editor here. New material, Musgrave. Oh no, noise, doing it again. All right, just, just setting up a basic uh, material just so we can look at this. So a noise texture. Put that into the color all right so this is a noise texture and let's say we want to animate this so we will set the noise texture to 40 and then we get this w value and we can play with this and animate it we are going to do a pretty similar thing but it is a little bit different so let's adjust our timeline to 120 again just so the video doesn't loop that long then i'm going to set a keyframe for frame one of this w factor and just hit i above this and this will add in a keyframe if you cannot see the keyframe just make sure that you have the plane selected and also the noise texture selected and then scroll up if you are scrolled down and here's the keyframe and then at frame 120 i will set this to something like one and hit i if we play this you will see that it's animated it's also easing in and out as you can see it's slowing down speeding up and then slowing down back again. So to fix that, we need to select everything and then hit 
uh, right mouse button, interpolation mode, and linear. We want this to be linear because if you look at the graphs for these two, you will see that the easing in and out doesn't loop at all. So there's no way you can actually make it loop comfortably. So just set that to linear. This already looks a little bit better, but it's still not looping, of course. So to make this loop, just uh, set all of your settings for this noise texture, just like we did with the particle system, and then duplicate it. Just put it under here and reset the W value to zero. And then I want to animate this as well. We don't want to use the same seed probably, because that would just look weird because we can we could maybe recognize some parts from further in the image. So I'm just going to keyframe it at something like 10, then hit I, then at the end, go over to, over to 11 and just keyframe that. Make sure this is linear as well. If you preview this, it looks different, but basically the same. Now what we want to do is mix these two together. So we can hit Control Shift Right Mouse button and just drag over these two. And this will add a mixed node. Then for this factor, just preview this. And then with this factor, we can jump between the two, as you can see here. And we want to animate this as well. So uh, basically where we want to make this seamless is not in the middle, because there it's just moving perfectly. But at the end, as you can see, it snaps back. So uh, this 120 part and then back at the zero part is where is where we want to make this loop. So we are also going to add some keyframes there for the mix. So first set it to uh, one at the first frame. Then about 30 frames later, I'm going to set this to zero. And then at 90, I want to add another keyframe for zero and then 120 again, a keyframe for one. We need to go back to the other noise texture and then go to the middle frame, so 60, and then get another keyframe in here. And just to make this easier, I'm just going to set this keyframe to zero, uh, same with the other ones, just so we have equal spacing everywhere. I just like starting on frame zero. All right, so for this noise texture, frame 60, uh, add in a keyframe, and then we want to delete the back keyframe just so we have a 60 frame transition. So for the mix, we can use this 30 frames here and then the 30 frames as well here. And I basically want to transition uh, this 90 part to 120 and then just continue the animation from zero to 30, just so it loops, if that makes any sense. All right, so select the noise texture. Now we have 10 to 10.5. And we just want to offset this by 30 frames just back and then just hit ctrl c and paste it from 90 and this should loop perfectly as you can see and because frame 120 is exactly the same as frame zero we want to set the frame start to one make sure you have that so now when we play this it loops perfectly and that was the tutorial i hope you enjoyed i hope you found this useful if you did please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one goodbye